Hello and welcome to Various Basics, where our guides are straight to the point and strictly only the basics. In this guide, I will be going over the basics of the Rogue's Den minigame. The Rogue's Den minigame is a maze-like activity riddled with thieving and agility obstacles. The Rogue's Den minigame most notably provides pieces of the Rogue's outfit as a reward for completion. In order to enter the Rogue's Den minigame, you will need level 50 agility and level 50 thieving. As far as items go, it may be helpful to prepare some stamina potions or other energy restoring consumables like energy potions beforehand. To reach the Rogue's Den minigame, you will first need to travel to Berthorpe. The quickest ways of reaching Berthorpe are by use of the game's necklace teleport, using a combat bracelet to teleport to the Warriors Guild, or by using the minigame teleport to travel to the Berthorpe games room and then climbing up two sets of stairs and exiting the building. Once you have reached Berthorpe, you will then need to travel to the dungeon entrance located in the Toad and Chicken Inn, as indicated by the red circle on this map. Once you have entered the dungeon, you will need to speak with Brian or Richard before attempting to enter the minigame area. To begin the minigame, you will first need to deposit all of your worn equipment and items into a bank. If needed, there is a bank NPC and bank chest in the western area. After you have deposited all of your items, you can then enter the gate to the north to begin the minigame. Upon entering the gate, you will receive a mystic jewel that can be used to teleport out of the minigame area at any point. The minigame consists of several different traps and paths, but to make things simpler, I have marked and labeled several tiles in the area to provide an easier visual of how to proceed through these obstacles. If you are using the Runelight client, you can mark tiles by turning on the ground markers plugin and then holding shift and right clicking a tile. This will provide a menu with the option to mark a tile. Some traps do not require disarming. Try to take note of this as I travel through the maze. As long as you follow the movements demonstrated in this clip, you will have no issues reaching the end of the maze. When attempting to avoid a blade trap, simply click on the edge closest to your character to avoid misstepping and triggering the trap. After reaching this point, you can pick lock the door to the east if you have level 80 thieving for a shortcut. Once you reach the room with tiles on the floor, pick up the southeastern tile. Once you have picked up the tile, left click the door and left click the image of the tile. The next room requires you to pass through specific doors to reach the next section. I have marked tiles in this room to indicate which doors to use. If you are not using the Runelight client and cannot mark tiles, you can always reference this video until you have the order of the doors memorized.
Once you have reached this room, pick up the flash powder to the south. Once you have picked it up, left click the flash powder in your inventory, and then left click the guard on the southern path. Once your character begins to throw the flash powder, you will then need to proceed to the next area. Once you have reached the end of the maze, you will find an area with several wall safes. Here, you can collect your reward by attempting to open a safe. Upon opening a safe, there is a chance that you will trigger an unavoidable trap and you will be sent back to the start of the maze without a reward. Once you have reached the entrance of the maze again, you may use the nearby bank to withdraw any energy restoring consumables you may need if you plan on repeating this activity. Keep in mind that you cannot bring any items into the minigame area, so if you plan on restoring your energy or using a stamina potion for the reduced energy drain, make sure to use them beforehand. Rewards for the Rogue's Den minigame include a Rogue Kit, which upon use can be turned into various tools, and a Rogue's Equipment Crate, which can be opened to obtain any one of the five total pieces of the Rogue Equipment set. This concludes the basics of the Rogue's Den minigame. If you require more advanced information on this topic, you can find a link to the official Old School RuneScape Wiki article on this topic in the description of this video. If this guide helped you, please take the time to give this video a like. If you would enjoy more videos similar to this one, you can subscribe to this channel for easy access to all current and future content provided. To be notified of future content from this channel, you can also left click on the notification bell located next to the subscribe icon. Feel free to leave a comment to make a request for a guide similar to this one, and thank you for watching!